The announcement on preparations for the opening of the Owen King EU Hospital comes from the Commission Director for the facility, Dwight Calix, who remarked that progress is being made to ensure that the complex operates at maximum capacity. He adds that work is also being done on the hospital's information system to include primary care records. Calix informs that the process is being conducted to ensure a smooth transition from Victoria Hospital to the new facility. We have done um, the initial water testing already. Um, we have gotten the results back, um, save for one um, result which is still outstanding with CAFA. We have now engaged the physicists to actually start work in the certification for operations of our radiology unit which means we have to test the radiology shielding and everything else right now. So um, we are now working with um, the suppliers for the equipment, the physicist and the biomedical um, department of Victoria Hospital to ensure that happens. One thing which is still outstanding is the, um, the testing of the gases. We have engaged the suitably qualified firm to get that done. Meanwhile, project coordinator at the Owen King EU Hospital, Wendell Bernard, informed that supplies and equipment for the hospital is delivered on a regular basis in an effort to adequately furnish all departments. Now, in this particular batch, we don't have much clinical furniture, but what we have is a lot of our desk, sh chairs, shelving for the different departments like pharmacy, records, storage, and even filing cabinets for the respective offices. We have administration. We also have cabinets for like maintenance. All offices throughout the hospital. Despite the progress being made to complete the Owen King EU Hospital, there has been no word on when the facility will be officially opened. Sherry Ann Gillard-Williams, NBC News.